again, everyone, and thanks for checking out today's video. Today is hive inspection number seven. Now, I did end up getting into the hive in between inspections just because I was trying to determine oh, this hair in my face. I was just trying to determine if I was going to need to purchase a new queen. So I got in just to double check and see if there were any eggs or larvae, which would indicate that I had a laying queen. Well, the good news is I did find eggs and I did find larvae. As always, I didn't see the queen, but the fact that there were new eggs there lets me know that they did hatch a queen. She was out on a mating flight and is back in the hive doing her job. I'm just going to get on the bee suit, light up the smoker, and I don't think I'm going to video this complete hive inspection. I will go ahead and do some still shots. I think they'll show up a little bit more as I'm trying to show you what's going on in some of the cells. This is the upper brood box that I added to the hive a couple of weeks ago. If you look closely in several of the openings in the comb, there's a white speck. Those teeny tiny specks are brand new eggs the queen bee has laid. After three days, those eggs hatch into larva. That larva is fed hundreds of times a day by nurse bees, and after five to six days, the larva is capped for another 12 days. This frame shows a dark covering over some of the cells. That's the larva after it's been capped. It is 21 days from the time the egg is laid and a new worker bee emerges. If you notice in this picture, some of the cappings are a little bit domed or bullet shaped. That means those are drone bee cells or male bees. Being able to experience the life cycles of the honeybees and their specific behaviors has been absolutely fascinating. Hive inspection number seven is done. And 92 degrees and this bee jacket, hotter than Satan's armpits out here, let me tell you. So I did get the inspection done. I did not see the queen. What's new, right? I did see eggs, larvae in various stages, and capped brood. The second box that they have, the second one that I put on is really crazy heavy with lots of honey stores. I won't wanna take it because they did create that honey when I was still feeding sugar water. About a week or so ago, I did add a honey super to the very top and took away the sugar water. But they haven't done not a thing as far as building out even the first little bit of comb in that super. So I'm trying to decide if maybe I should put the sugar water back on just so they have a chance to draw comb out in that super. Even if I don't harvest the honey, then at least they have comb drawn out to give them a head start for next year or even a second hive if I end up having to split this one. There were about five queen cells with nothing in them along the bottom of one of the frames. And I did go ahead and scrape those off because those could indicate swarm cells. I don't want that to happen again, but at least this time I'm prepared if it does. As usual, I didn't see the queen but with what's going on in the hive, I know she's there. Maybe one day, one day, I will actually see the queen. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you wanna be notified every time that I post new content, just go ahead and hit the little bell icon. Every time I post a new video, you'll be notified. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.